Well, with the question of protecting Yellowstone National Park, grizzlies still in legal limbo. On the ground, wildlife managers say they'll just continue bear research and preventing conflicts along the Northern Continental Divide ecosystem. Those charged with managing bears on the Northern Divide are meeting this week. That doesn't mean that the work that we're doing right now to reduce conflicts and to take into consideration expanding grizzly bear populations isn't uh, a live conversation for us. The recent um, establishment or setting up the Governor's Advisory Council on Grizzly Bears is an effort to have that conversation more broadly about what would the state of Montana and Montanans have us do about grizzly bear expansion outside the recovery areas. And that's going to be at the heart of the effort by FWP and other agencies again this summer with bears wandering far out under the prairie east of the Rocky Mountain front and showing up more frequently in communities on the west side of the divide and even into the Bitterroot. Biologists say efforts will continue to make people more bear aware to try and limit conflicts. So the monitoring um, occurs both with collaring efforts where we have individual bears that have radio collars that we can track their movements, but also monitoring is with sightings and confirming sightings. And anytime we have any conflicts, we monitor and keep track of all those conflicts and the type of conflict and where they're occurring. They're also talking about enhanced efforts to try and limit crashes with grizzlies in vehicles after 17 bears were killed on local highways last year.